to the panic button. I'm Nina. I have a question for you. Do you think if a man is in a relationship with another man who transitioned into being a woman is gay? Is that man gay? Let's see what he thinks. I wanted to ask you a couple questions about my relationship because I know it's it's been a lot. How did you first feel about hearing that I was dating a woman like Cassidy that's trans? I was, you know, definitely a little uh, shocked and apprehensive. It got blown up. Oh, first of all, look at that jaw. That jaw could cut glass. It's very masculine face. The lower half of his face, her face, whoever face, kind of looks like Arnold. You know how Arnold had that very, like, meaty jaw? You know, knowing you my whole life, I didn't know that, you know. I didn't see that. One of, one of the first things that probably came out was probably, he's gay. People definitely have that, that perspective on it. I, I was just very much conf confused. I was confused, too. Cassidy educated me and said, no, 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 honey, you're straight. I'm, don't you look at me like a woman? I said, yeah. She's like, so where do you find the word gay? And that's when I realized, yeah, I'm not gay at all. Whoa, now that's some class A gaslighting, manipulation. It's very good. Cassidy is very good at manipulating her boyfriend. And I find it kind of interesting as well, because I've seen this with a lot of, I have to do trans women because I don't, I don't know if this Cassidy person is actually uh, trans, I guess so, but I'm seeing this with, with a lot of, of these trans women. They kind of catfish men into, you know, making them believe that they're, they're, they're women and then kind of manipulate them into making them think that they're not gay. But also, is this guy, is he for real? Does he really believe that not being the only penis in the bedroom means that he's straight? Like, does he really believe that? Like, when they're in the bedroom and they're getting all hot and steamy, does Cassidy tuck the whole time? Or is the, or, or is the penis just kind of flopping around? Like, this, like do we, do we, does, does he just kind of not look at it? Like, just imagining it's not there? I, I, I have a lot of questions. Lots and lots of questions. But Cassidy, I've seen this a lot with trans women telling their boyfriends that they're in a straight relationship. And I get why they're doing it, but I don't understand. I, I, it's like, I'm, my mind's blown, so I'm a little scattered right now, but how does this guy believe that he's not gay? Uh, I, I, pfft. how? Because Cassidy looks like, look like, looks like a woman? I just have so many questions. My other question is, when the dude is, when the guy is hanging out with his, his bros, do you think this is gonna change the way that they are around him? I'm specifically asking guys. If you were in this situation, if you were the guy whose uh, best friend comes out and says, no, I'm in a straight relationship with uh, a trans woman, would you guys uh, act differently around him? Or would you just kind of be like, oh, that's just what he's doing? When you guys are out and you're, you're walking and you see a hot chick, does it make you think twice about what he's thinking about? Like, is he looking at the chick and being, mmm, that is one fine ass? Or is he thinking, mmm, that's one fine ass and I bet that sausage is giant. I really wonder how guys deal with ha having a their their bro come out as a, as a straight guy who likes trans women. Another question I have is what what has become of homosexuality and straightness and bisexuality? I've I, I've come to to the realization almost that n none of these words have any definitions anymore. I mean, if this individual Cassidy who has a penis who dresses up as a woman. How does that not make him still a man? I know how you identify, it's how you see yourself. But when you're in a relationship and you have to convince the other person that they're in a straight relationship so so they don't feel weird and stay, I, I don't think that that relationship is based on any reality or truth. You're kind of doing s some sort of uh, mental gymnastics in order to make yourself believe that you are in a straight relationship. I mean, it, Cassidy doesn't have a... Uh, a vagina, or maybe he has a neo-vagina. I, I, I don't know, but Cassidy might have a neo-vagina, but Cassidy still has a prostate. Doesn't get her period. His period. Ca Cassidy might still have a Adam's apple. Cassidy still has the giant hands and, and feet of a man. Oof, I mean, that jaw. That jaw. Alone. I'll say this. As someone who is a lesbian, gold star lesbian, has never been with men. There is no way in hell, in hell, I would ever be convinced by someone like Cassidy to think I'm in a lesbian 
relationship if I was dating someone like Cassidy. That would never happen. No. Because relationships aren't just based on, you know, what's going on on the outside. It's also what's going on in the bedroom and the appendages. Because in order to be in, in a relationship, you kind of are, have to be physical and have sex. And if you're physical and having sex, those appendages are part of the deal. So is he having straight sex with a penis at this point? Like, I'm very, very confused. Very, very confused. Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think. Because I have... I just have no idea. I, I, I'm, I, I'm lost. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get how an, an alpha male from his mouth, how an alpha male can be manipulated by another dude into thinking he's in a straight relationship with him. That's kind of fucking crazy. But have a good day, guys. Comment below. You can join our members only program on YouTube. You can donate to our channel. Have a good one.